will end up NDP boss and leader of the opposition this Sunday? Well, there are three main contenders. Tonight, our Brian Coxford begins taking a closer look at each of them and what they view as the top priorities for our province. First up, the man considered to be the front runner and the candidate liberal insiders say they fear the most. Port Coquitlam MLA, Mike Farnworth. Mike Farnworth is targeting a key force within the NDP membership, talking to Indo-Canadians who collectively account for a quarter of all people who will vote for the new leader. And with just five days to go before they cast their ballots, the acknowledged moderate leads all other leadership candidates in polling. Well, I want to take this opportunity to talk to you that I think Surrey has a tremendous role to play in British Columbia and I want to be part of a government that helps make that happen. People are looking for a change. Farnworth has solid support within the South Asian community. His campaign supporters have been working the phones for weeks to get the vote out. Yesterday was the first day of advance voting and the turnout was good. Would you say you're a consensus builder? Yes, I'd say that's definitely an approach that I've uh, always tried to take. It's like, okay, you know what, what have we got in common? Figure that out and then start looking at the areas where we disagree. And a lot of times you find that, you know what, you can actually solve some of those areas and you end up making a better decision that way. How do you do? Still in Surrey, he stops at a factory where employees use BC materials and know-how to make furniture for the rest of Canada. Yes. What I see here is exactly what we want to see happening in British Columbia. We want to see BC trees being used to create furniture here in British Columbia, value-added manufacturing. After three terms as a councillor in Port Coquitlam, Farnworth won a provincial seat in 1991, just about the time he committed to a gay relationship with his partner that is still strong today. As a middle-of-the-road candidate, he has set himself apart from his party with his tough stands on crime, most recently speaking out when it was recommended child killer Alan Schoenborn should get escorted leaves in his community. What are people concerned about? What are their families? What's important to them? What's relevant to them? That's, to me, what matters. And I think if you, if you look at government from that perspective and governing from that perspective, I think you're going to stay pretty much where most British Columbians are at. Farnworth tells an Indo-Canadian audience on Joy TV he has support from both camps in the former Carol James opposition, and he thinks he can rebuild the party. Well, I think that I've got the experience having been a cabinet minister in, in government, mm -hmm. uh, my record in opposition. I have a real sense of, of what governing is about. And key to me is, uh, is being able to lead a united party. The candidate got a welcome endorsement this week from former Premier Mike Harcourt, who was his boss in the first half of the 90s. Farnworth served in four cabinet posts, including economic development and health. The two Mikes are similar in many ways. Both are consensus builders and moderate democratic socialists who can win the vote. I don't know if you've heard this, but they say Mike is too nice to be uh, <laughs> aggressive with his caucus and strong in government. What do you say about that? Well, all I know is I'm me. And I think I've done a good job, and I think he can do a great job as leader of the opposition, an even better job as premier.